Hi everyone, so here we are back in the Stop Bird Loft. I uh, just do a quick update on our eggs and our little squeakers that are waiting on. Um, obviously, the video that I showed you on this little chick up here, um, chick's doing really well. Uh, but when we did put that video on, someone actually did give us some advice that's saying that obviously because it was a single chick on its own, um, that it could possibly cause it to have splayed legs. Uh, so the best way for that was to be to put a pot egg in uh, for the first week and then a potato in after that just to mimic a second chick growing alongside it so that it obviously doesn't uh, crush the chick. Um, so that's something we have done. I'll show you that. We have put a pot egg under that one. Um, then we've got the mealy hen and her cockbird. Their egg has just started chipping off. Um, the one in the top uh, corner there that uh, obviously was the hen that didn't lay any eggs but she ended up uh, incubating one of the mealy hen's eggs um, their egg I'm not sure if it's any good um, when I put a, a torch to it it just seemed to be pure liquid there was nothing in there um, so I don't think there's anything in that one uh, then we've got the pied cock bird his egg is just chipping off as well um, so hopefully within the next couple of days we should have a few more chicks and then the ones at the bottom uh, I showed you that their egg was chipping off as well well one of their eggs was uh, last night when we came up to lock up uh, one of their eggs had actually hatched out and this morning we've come in and their second one has hatched out so I'll show you those right, so obviously this is the one that's already got a chick this is the one where we were told to put a pot egg underneath alright baby just to stop it from Getting crushed, there it is. Thank you. I know, baby, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the pied cock bird with his egg. Can we just check your egg, my sweetheart? Good boy. As you can see, I wish you can see it on camera there because it's uh, it keeps focusing on the cock bird there. Just some tiny little chip offs. Oh, I know, sweetheart, don't get your egg. That's it, good baby. Uh, so that one's chipping off nicely. This is the one up here that uh, she's been incubating one of her eggs for us. Um, but uh, like I say, I'm not sure if it's any good. It's uh, not chipping and it just seems to be full of liquid. So I'm not holding out much hope for that one. And obviously this is the mealy hen and her cock bird. Oh, this is their egg. And uh, as you can see, it's very nicely chipping off there. Good boy, you get back on your nest. And then these at the bottom, again, this is the pair that were last ones to pair up. Um, and they now have two beautiful chicks. Can I show these your chicks, please, sweetheart? I know, good boy. I know. So there we go. Two beautiful little babies down there. All right, good baby. That's it. Um, so hopefully, within the next uh, few days, we should have one from there and one from over there. Uh, so obviously we'll have um, five chicks, whereas obviously before, that one we should have had six, but then obviously with everything that went off, you know, they all laid two eggs, so we should have effectively had you know, ten chicks, but that's not worked out. Um, like I said before, just with complications and issues, just like you, you know, you generally get um, cock birds fighting, infertile eggs and stuff. So there we go. I've updated you on our little uh, squeakers, and uh, fingers crossed within the next couple of days. Hopefully, looking out for a couple more chicks. Um, I'll let you know when they hatch out. And I'll uh, keep you updated on that egg in the top corner as well, because again, I'm not too sure about that one. I think there possibly was something in there at one point, um, but because the cock bird wasn't doing his job and she was having to do it all, I think it's um, ended up, you know, being, ended up being no good. Uh, so obviously we'll keep updated on that one as well. And uh, thanks for watching.